Hey, welcome to Build It. Have you ever thought someone was lying to you and have no idea how to get the truth out of them? Well, that's why this week we took an Arduino and we made an Arduino powered lie detector. The way it works is it measures your skin's galvanic skin response. <laughs> galvanic skin, galvanic gut. The way it works is it monitors your skin's galvanic skin response, which is a fancy way of saying your skin's conductivity. So according to some research, every time you lie or have a different emotion or change your mood, your skin's resistance will change. What we can do is we can ask someone a question we know they'll answer truthfully, like where do you live or what's your name, and measure the skin conductivity, and then we can ask them a question we know they'll lie about and measure the skin conductivity, assuming that they'll feel nervous about it. And then we can use that data to measure when someone's telling the truth or when someone's lying. Obviously it's not the most accurate system in the world, but it's a cool trick for your friends, and sometimes it actually does work. Here's how to build it. For this project we'll need an Arduino Nano. Quick side note, you need a microcontroller with serial communication for this project. That means your Arduino Gemma, Lilypad, and Adafruit Trinket won't work. If you aren't sure about your microcontroller, check the website for more detail. A green, orange, and red LED, and a 220 ohm resistor. And we're going to need to wire them up in this order. Solder the 220 ohm resistor to ground, then wire analog zero to the resistor and extend it. Next, extend the 5 volt pin. Now connect all the LED's ground pins together, and lastly connect the green LED's positive leg to pin 2, the orange LED's positive leg to pin 3, and the red LED's positive leg to pin 4. Now let's move on to the coding part of this project. Start by pasting the code into the Arduino IDE. You can find a link to the code in the video description. Go to the tools menu in the Arduino IDE and make sure you upload into the right board on the right port. Next, upload it. From here, you could just connect it to your subject and open the serial monitor to see the data in text form. But newer versions of the Arduino IDE have a serial plotter built in, which lets us see the data in graph form, which is what we want. To get this, go to Arduino's website and download the latest version.